It's here. It's here. I got the instructions I'm not gonna read. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time. It's finally here. So we're uh, doing the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Overland build. And uh, the roof rack just got here. First off, let's talk about our crossbars. The 21 Bronco Sport came stock with, you know, your standard running, running bars, but you have to buy crossbars. And you want to buy crossbars for this because it's brand new and there's no aftermarket on out there for it yet these are your high rated yakima crossbars these come with locks so you do have to have a key to open them which is nice because somebody can't just walk up and unscrew your your refrax when you unlock it this comes off and your adjustments are underneath i might go into those a little more Real quick overview, we picked up this 21 Bronco Sport while on vacation. We are staying with family and we are not home, which means we do not have the luxury of our shop, of our tools, uh, to be able to do fab equipment, to be able to do, you know, brush guards, things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy, we're going to build a overland vehicle directly off the internet. We're talking universal parts like amazon yes we do plan on upgrading stuff later but again we want to take this right now the way it is take it on a trip so pretty much what happened is we decided we wanted a new vehicle and we rented a jeep compass trailhawk for a month and we drove it across the entire country from ohio to california and that included you know going through colorado through the mountain ranges things like that and we did not like it it was way underpowered inside it was lovely it was nice it was comfortable it was way underpowered you try to go up a hill and it's just screaming at you up a hill almost red line this one the same hill maybe 2500 rpm this is the ford bronco sport um badlands edition which comes with the 2.0 liter turbo eco boost and automatic and paddle shifter selects if you can see of course i say selects because it's still an automatic the roof rack finally came in. This is just a generic roof rack. I will post the link for this roof rack. I ordered an extra long roof rack because I've seen other people's builds and I didn't like the, you know, short roof racks. This is 80 something inches. I'll post the exact information. Let's talk about our wide selection of tools right now. We didn't plan on making or doing this since we got here. So it's literally just some like emergency tools that, like I keep in a vehicle whenever we're traveling. All right, let's talk about this real quick. This is clearly the back, it has nice reflectors on it. These two came packaged together, as did these two. But if you look, that's the uh, male end, that's the female. So we actually have to swap one of these over. You have a uh, smaller end and the bigger ends down here. So we actually need to rotate these. This is how easy this is, okay guys? Don't overthink it when you're working on something. All right. go crimped to non-crimped crimped to non-crimped crimped to non-crimped and same on the other side let's talk about this piece I do look at it just at the holes you have center hole two on the end two on the end it's symmetrical so if you want to see a roof rack do that if you don't flip it over you'll have a flat black canvas I will probably end up flipping mine putting a custom decal on this side but that's the future. Got a few of these plates. They'll probably flip over the ends here once you have those together. 
black tubes. I'm gonna go over top of these where these can, pieces connect. Going front to back screws. Your mounts that go to the crossbars. They're just some loops, similar to wire loops. I would guess it's to hold that front mount on, but we'll see. Let's confirm. Just like we thought, so let's get that put together. We'll add real quick, because we are doing this, like I said, on vacation. We don't have access to a bunch of tools. This one does come with an Allen key, which is pretty nice. There is the Allen key, which runs to the heads of these screws, or bolts, I guess. All right, let's talk real quick, because I just took these end caps off. First off, if you're working on concrete, put a cardboard under it so you don't scratch it Scratch it up. Concrete acts like sandpaper. So, you might be concerned because these centers are just slipped together. Nothing holding those, right? Okay, both the ends are solid one piece. So when everything locks together, it's going to hold that center together. Don't worry about that. Second, when these uh, slip inside, you can see large hole. This is a threaded hole. So those bolts, when they run through there, they're going to hold everything tight. Alright, so some quick notes. First off, these mounts are directional. These clip over the hole, or clip over the tube, and snap into the bottom. Second, there's holes on the bottom. So once you get this all screwed together from the top, snug, you're going to flip it over, tighten the bottom, then come back and tighten the top. Then mount it. So I just flipped it up like this. Now, why did I do that? Because all of these are slip joints, okay? They all have room for play. The bracket can move a little bit, and the tube itself can move in and out. You know, I want it as tight as I can get it. So by putting it up on end, first I can grab it and I can snug it down. You just cinch it down. Secondly, it's gonna stay there. So now I can tighten up these bottom screws and uh, have it nice and snug. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop it back down. I'm gonna get that that uh, cover mounted up. I am gonna mount it backwards like we talked about earlier because I don't want it to say roof rack. Uh, <laughs> just personal preference. These little connectors, they just go around the bar. They can rotate once they're on there. Then you have screws and or nuts and bolts that go through and hold that on. These bolts aren't holding tension. I mean, they're tightened down. You want them snug because you don't want them coming out. But they're not holding the, the the workload of the rack. Um, The rack slid into each other and the force when you put stuff in it goes this way. As you're driving down the road, especially with that little, you know, windbreak on the front of it, it's going to pull back against itself. 
um, so you're not going to, it's not like something's like ripping on these bolts trying to rip everything apart. It is just, you know, thin walled tubing, so don't crank on it too much. Snug it down, give it a little bit, not a ton, make sure it's on there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive with it for a little bit, I'm going to check it periodically, just walk around and visually say, yep, that's flush, yep, that's flush, yep, just, you know, as you're walking around the vehicle. You should be doing that with everything. Still check them every couple hundred miles. It's good practice. Just walk around and shake everything. Alright, so I have two of the rear mounts on. I don't have the fronts on yet because I'm actually going to have to adjust my crossbars. So uh, when these go on, the way the mounts sit, the crossbars have to be in line with one of these gaps. And with the back one lined up, the front is just a little off. So I'm just going to loosen both crossbars so I can push this one forward a little bit through here. And maybe move this one back a little bit through here and get everything lined up. We plan on uh, possibly carrying kayaks and things like that up there as well. So that's why we got the longer bars. So we can put kayak racks on both sides. So during my video, you actually see where my rack's placed further back. And then afterwards, I, I slid the rack more forward. And this was to give the antenna a little more room. And you can see how far it sits out over top of the windshield. It's actually caused a ton of wind noise. So the second picture you see here is where the rack sits now. And this is for, pushed further back. The antenna actually sits almost inside the rear of the rack. But I'm having a lot less wind noise and uh, decent weight distribution. Same thing with the third picture. You can see starting to load some stuff up there. And everything's kind of slid back, which uh, I prefer. So yeah, show me how you guys have mounted it. This is how I mounted it. Um, this is Dustin with Hard Cruise Racing. Have a good day. <laughs>